Hey everybody. So we've got our siding done above our stairs, but what we need to do now is come up with a handrail for that. So we went to Menards and bought a bunch of inch and a half black pipe, and I'm going to build a handrail for these stairs out of that pipe. So hope you enjoy the video. We'll see how it turns out. Be the first time doing something like this, other than of course our light fixture. Alrighty, so here are my three pieces of five foot, 60 inch, inch and a half black pipe. And I bought close nipples and I bought shoulder nipples. These are like two and a half inches. These are about two. And what I did was we've got one two before to clear. So I just mocked up a piece and tightened up. And what I saw was that these close ones are the ones we want to use. We want this pipe, this rail to be as close to the wall as we can. Uh, without having to go out around the two before so we'll go ahead and put it all together take it outside clean it spray paint it and bring it in and install it hey everybody so today i'm going to do this uh handrail for our stairs so the first step is to assemble the parts the elbows and the t's and make sure they're the same height so that the handrail doesn't go in and out along the wall so I've got that done, and honestly, uh, it just took a wrench to do most of them. One of them was a little tighter, so I had to put it in a vise and put it down. This one, for some reason, didn't thread in as far as the rest of them. But I put it in the fence vise and used my giant pipe wrench and got it down to where the rest of them are. So now what I'm going to do is take this uh, mineral spirits and clean these fittings. You can see they're uh, oily and nasty. So I'll clean them good, and then we're going to paint them, and then we'll put the assembled rail on the wall. Follow along. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the other issue that's important, as well as uh, getting them tightened down so they're the same height, is making sure that all of the screw holes are accessible when we go to put this in. If this screw hole was directly in line with that pipe it would be almost impossible to get it screwed to the wall using all four screws which is what we want to do because we want a uh, strong secure handrail so i spun these around so that these holes uh, in addition to these all being the same height are accessible so we get the uh, wrappers taken off these pipes get them wiped down with our mineral spirits like i said i don't know if you can see if it comes through but just touching these pipes, like I said, you're gonna get dirty. So get this all cleaned off and get ready to paint them. Okay, I thought that using the uh, mineral spirits and the knife, I could get all these stickers off, but it didn't happen. So I'm gonna use the wire wheel on this grinder.
then wipe it off with uh, mineral spirits and I think we're ready to paint okay so I've got the pipes and the fittings clean and it is amazing uh, when you even just pick them up prior to wiping off that mineral spirits like I said they were greasy and also that uh, whatever that black coating is would come off on your hands and uh, now they're pretty much feel totally clean so what I'm going to do, and I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I'm going to actually assemble this rail on this trailer and then spray paint it here in place. And then we'll take it in and put it on the wall as one unit. So here we go. So the goal is to put this together so it's tight and it doesn't have to hold steam pressure or anything but I don't want it to wobble so it's tight and that those flanges then are parallel with each other. There is all four of the floor flanges lined up. I ran out of trailer, so some of it's sticking out here. So that was three five foot uh, pieces of pipe and one, two, three, four fittings. I wouldn't think I'd add another foot, so probably 16 foot. I'll drag this down where it's uh, hanging more on the trailer 
and I'll get ready to paint this thing. I think it's going to be great. Okay, so here it is with most all of it on the trailer. Went diagonal. All the floor flanges are lined up, and the pipe is tight enough to not wobble. So, I'm going to get ready to spray paint this thing. The mineral spirits has dried. Didn't take long out here at this temperature. But I'm going to wipe it down one more time, I think, and then get ready to spray paint. All right, so I've got these uh, white painter cloth. Uh, they're just like a heavy paint towel or paper towel. And what I'm going to do is wipe that down. And if no black residue come off on the towel, I'm going to say it's clean enough to spray paint. And what we've got is this Rust-Oleum metallic paint and primer in one and it's called oil rub bronze so we've used this uh on a few projects we used it on our light fixture and uh, it seems to work really well so let me get started Crane is definitely doing something over there. That in the news the other day, they're supposed to be doing airstrikes. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of helicopters. Haven't really seen anything else. Hopefully that's not giving away some kind of classified information or something. <laughs> I just think it's awesome to live someplace where that goes on. We used to live on Cordry Lake down in Brown County and uh, were entertained by Atterbury quite a bit. In there, they had the A-10 uh, attack planes come over along with F-16s uh, doing gun runs and drop ordnance. And uh, it's nothing better than sitting in the lake, seeing the flag and watching our military at work. If you're like me, anyway. You know, I suppose some people would like me. Okay. So, that rag came out pretty clean. This pipe looks clean to me. A little spot of rust right there. That's why we're using Rust-Oleum, though. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start shooting this thing. My plan is probably a couple of coats. And I know I'm gonna paint my trailer a little bit. Not really worried about that. Alrighty, there's the first coat. I'm gonna do several coats on this. But there's the first one. And it looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I will, when it's good and dry, flip it over to do the absolute bottom of it. But I'm gonna concentrate on the top, bottom, and sides. All the parts that you'll see first. Make sure to get a good couple coats on them. All right, well, I'll let this dry for a while. Go and watch a little bit of the Xfinity race and come back. Okay, so that's dry. Been about a half hour and it is like 95 degrees out here. 
and I think it feels like the humidity is not horrible. So, let's throw another coat on here. Let that coat dry. And I think what I'm gonna do for the next coat is roll that over and do the bottom because I'm not sure that I'm getting it. And then put it back and do one final coat on the top. When that dries, we're gonna go mount this thing. All right, let's paint the bottom side of this. Stop. Okay, so that's dry. I'm gonna roll this back over. Put one final coat on the top, and when that dries, we're gonna go mount this thing. So, spray painting with this thing, something about pushing on that, my freaking index finger, that knuckle right there, is, I mean, that hurts. I've never, never seen nothing like it. I'm gonna try and use my middle finger this time. One can just barely did not do this, but I don't want to spray splattery stuff on it, so I finished out with the other can. Again, using my middle finger. Oh yeah. I've never had nothing like that. I'm spraying with uh, my middle finger this time. I don't know what, like I said, I've never seen anything like that. But I know this, <laughs> that finger hurts, that last knuckle. Alrighty, it is painted. Just gonna let it dry. And then we're gonna go mount this thing. Man, I just cannot get over how good it looks. I really like that paint. This was Rust-Oleum uh, Metallic Paint and Primer in One Oil Rub Bronze. And I'm telling you what, it looks good. Okay, I'll hold mine way down. There we go. We're in line. Okay, I'm off the wall, so it has to go that way. My way? Yep. More. Another two inches. Oh, shoot. Right there. Okay. <laughs>
you like my handrail? I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. That paint you picked is awesome. Uh, well, you have something to hang on to anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Uh, using the handrail? First time? <laughs> get that. Don't get turn that right. Oh my, that just gorgeous. It probably perfect. take up to 24 hours this paint to totally cure, but. Yeah, wow. Nice. I like about it is you have room to get your hand in behind it, but it's not yes. blocking half your steps. I like that it's a good grip for my hand. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a small hand, but I have a good firm grip. It's not too big for me, and it's not so small. Right. I love it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got our retro industrial, what is it called? Rustic industrial. Rustic industrial <laughs> handrail installed uh -huh. uh, for our barn dominium. Like I said, this was an inch and a quarter black pipe. Took and cleaned all the gunk from the store off of it. Uh, spray painted it. We've got three coats on it. And it looks pretty dang nice. And I guess you could use it as a ballet bar if you can do step <laughs> <Yeah>. ballet. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm a little past that. <laughs> okay, I think I am too. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching our uh, handrail video. Have a good one, y'all. See ya. Thanks for watching our handrail video. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Have a good one, y'all. Appreciate you.